The grim reaper at the factory gates, a sign of things to come. Ah, the factory gates, once symbols of bustling industry, now something else entirely. The clang of machinery, the sweat, the camaraderie, all fading into the past. Today we find ourselves asking, are job cuts at giants like Boeing a bad omen, or just the rumble before a storm of change? We've all seen the headlines, Boeing to slash workforce, a shock perhaps, but my friends, is it truly a surprise? The winds of change are howling, and not just in Seattle. Join me, dear viewers, as we delve into this brave new world. We'll dissect the reasons behind these seismic shifts and explore their ripple effects on the global job market. The Boeing story, a microcosm of larger forces. Boeing, a titan of industry, a symbol of American manufacturing might. But even giants can stumble. Their recent job cuts, my friends, are not just about airplanes. They are a peek behind the curtain, a glimpse into the complex machinery of the global economy. On one hand, the relentless march of technology, automation replacing human hands on the assembly line. On the other, the fickle winds of economic uncertainty, a world grappling with pandemics, conflicts, and the ever-looming spectre of recession. Remember those robots we saw earlier? They're getting smarter, faster, and cheaper. What was once the stuff of science fiction is now cold, hard reality on the factory floor. And it's not just robots. Think artificial intelligence, 3D printing, the Internet of Things, a veritable digital tsunami sweeping across every sector, every industry, trade wars, geopolitical tensions, and let's not forget the elephant in the room, climate change. All these factors are squeezing businesses, forcing them to adapt or die. And adaptation, my friends, often means streamlining, restructuring, and yes, you guessed it, job cuts. So Boeing's woes, while significant, are merely a symptom of a much larger phenomenon. Echoes of the past. From blacksmiths to buggy whips. The year is 1899, the dawn of a new century. Imagine, if you will, a blacksmith, muscles rippling as he hammers red-hot iron. He's at the top of his game, a master craftsman. But little does he know, his world is about to change forever. Enter the automobile, the horseless carriage, they called it. A marvel of modern engineering, destined to replace the horse and carriage, and with it, the blacksmith's livelihood. History, my friends, is littered with such tales. The Luddite movement in 19th century England, weavers smashing the very machines that were replacing them. The decline of coal mining in the face of cleaner, more efficient energy sources. Each wave of technological advancement leaving its mark, creating winners and inevitably losers. The automobile may have displaced blacksmiths, but it also created a whole new industry with new jobs, new opportunities. The key, my friends, is adaptability. The ability to evolve, to learn new skills, to ride the waves of change rather than be crushed by them. Unpacking the job market upheaval, a global perspective. Let's shift our focus now from the past to the present, from the local to the global. Because, my friends, what's happening with Boeing is not an isolated incident. It's a microcosm of a much larger trend, a seismic shift in the global job market. From the gleaming skyscrapers of Wall Street to the bustling factories of Shenzhen, the very nature of work is being redefined. Globalization, once a distant rumble, is now a deafening roar, connecting economies, industries and workforces in ways unimaginable just a few decades ago. The rise of the digital economy, the gig economy, the remote workforce, these are not just buzzwords, my friends. They are the new realities of the 21st century workplace. And they are upending traditional notions of employment, job security and career paths. The key is to be informed, to be adaptable and to be proactive. To understand the forces shaping this new landscape and to equip yourself with the skills and knowledge to thrive in it. Charting your course, a roadmap for the uncertain seas ahead. The job market, my friends, is no longer a placid lake, but a vast and turbulent ocean. 
the old maps, the well-trodden paths, they no longer suffice. To navigate these treacherous waters, we need a new compass, a new set of skills, a new mindset. First and foremost, embrace adaptability. The days of a job for life are fading like a summer sunset. The future belongs to those who are agile, who can learn new skills, adapt to new technologies, and pivot their careers as needed. Next, become a lifelong learner. The pace of change is relentless and the only way to stay ahead of the curve is to constantly update your skills. Embrace online learning platforms, attend workshops, read industry publications and never stop seeking new knowledge. Remember the importance of networking. In today's interconnected world, who you know is often as important as what you know. Attend industry events, join online communities, Connect with people on LinkedIn and build relationships that can open doors to new opportunities. Finally, cultivate resilience. The job search can be a challenging and often disheartening process. Rejections will come. Setbacks are inevitable. But it's important to remember that every no is one step closer to a yes. Stay positive, maintain your momentum and never give up on your dreams. The anatomy of a layoff, peering into Boeing's engine room. Now let's roll up our sleeves and get our hands dirty, shall we? We've talked about Boeing's job cuts, but what's the real story behind those headlines? First, the cold hard truth. Businesses are about profit. Boeing, despite its iconic status, is no different. When profits dwindle, tough decisions are made. Think of it as trimming the fat, though in this case, the fat is people's livelihoods. Harsh but true. Boeing, like many manufacturing giants, is grappling with overcapacity. Remember those grounded 737 MAX planes? A PR disaster, yes, but also a logistical nightmare. Orders dried up, production slowed, and suddenly thousands of workers were left with little to do. Then there's the rise of data-driven decision-making. Companies like Boeing are crunching numbers, analyzing market trends, and using algorithms to predict future demand. Automation Nation, when robots steal your paycheck. Remember our blacksmith friend from earlier? Well, the robots are here and they're not just after blacksmiths anymore. Automation, my friends, is the elephant in the factory, the silent force reshaping industries and displacing workers. The cost of automation is plummeting while its capabilities are skyrocketing. Robots are becoming faster, more precise and more adaptable. They don't need lunch breaks, they don't join unions, and they never complain about working conditions. But it's not just about replacing humans with machines, it's about augmenting human capabilities, creating a hybrid workforce where humans and robots work side by side. Yes, automation can create new jobs, often requiring higher skills and technical expertise, but these new jobs may not be accessible to those displaced by the robots themselves. The globalization conundrum, a double-edged sword of opportunity and uncertainty. Hold on tight, dear viewers, as we navigate the choppy waters of globalization. It's a word that gets bandied about like a shuttlecock in a badminton match, but what does it really mean for the average worker? In essence, globalization is the interconnectedness of economies, industries and labor markets across the globe. It's the reason you can buy a t-shirt made in Bangladesh for a fraction of the price of one made locally. It's also the reason why a company like Boeing can shift production to countries with lower labor costs. On the one hand, globalization has lifted millions out of poverty, created new markets and fostered innovation. On the other hand, it's led to job losses in developed countries, increased competition for scarce resources and exacerbated income inequality. The challenge, my friends, is to harness the benefits of globalization while mitigating its negative impacts. The pandemic hangover, a turbulent flight path to recovery. Ah, the pandemic, a global upheaval that needs no introduction. It turned our lives upside down, exposed societal fault lines, and left an indelible mark on the global economy. And the aviation industry, my friends, was hit particularly hard. 
Lockdowns and travel restrictions grounded planes worldwide, sending shockwaves through the entire aviation ecosystem. Airlines hemorrhaged money, orders for new aircraft dried up and companies like Boeing were forced to make drastic cuts. With fewer people flying, demand for new planes plummeted, leaving Boeing with a surplus of aircraft and a dwindling workforce. But the pandemic's impact went beyond just air travel. It triggered a cascade of disruptions to global supply chains, raw material shortages and economic uncertainty. Now, as the world emerges from the pandemic's shadow, the aviation industry is slowly recovering. Boeing's Balancing Act. Juggling jetliners, shareholders and the human cost. Let's be frank, my friends. Corporations, even giants like Boeing, are in a constant balancing act. They juggle the demands of shareholders, the need for innovation and the well-being of their workforce. Shareholders, those who own a piece of the Boeing pie, demand profits. And when profits falter, heads roll, often starting with those deemed expendable, the workers. But staying profitable means staying ahead of the curve, constantly innovating, developing new technologies and building the next generation of aircraft. This requires significant investment, which can sometimes come at the expense of the workforce. Then there's the human cost, the impact on workers, their families and the communities that rely on these jobs. The challenge, my friends, is to find a sustainable balance. One that allows companies like Boeing to thrive and innovate while also ensuring the well-being of their workforce. A tale of two factories, comparing Boeing's past to its present. Close your eyes for a moment, dear viewers. And imagine a Boeing factory from a bygone era. The air thick with the scent of metal and sweat, the deafening roar of machinery, the sight of hundreds, no thousands of workers toiling away in unison. Back then, a job at Boeing was a ticket to the middle class, a source of pride and security. Generations of families worked side by side, building the planes that connected the world. There was a sense of camaraderie, a shared purpose that transcended the drudgery of the assembly line. Fast forward to today, and the scene is strikingly different. The factory floor, while still impressive, is quieter, cleaner, more sterile. The factory of the future, it seems, is a place of both wonder and unease, a testament to human ingenuity and a stark reminder of the changing nature of work itself. The domino effect. When giants stumble, smaller businesses brace for impact. The job cuts at Boeing, my friends, are not just a Seattle story. They are a stark reminder that when giants stumble, the tremors are felt far and wide. The ripple effects of these layoffs extend far beyond the factory gates, impacting smaller businesses, local economies, and entire communities. Think of the countless small businesses that rely on Boeing's workforce, the cafes and restaurants that serve their lunch, the shops where they bought their tools, the local suppliers who provided components for those airplanes. When Boeing sneezes, these businesses catch a cold. And what about the families of those laid-off workers? The mortgages that need paying, the children to feed, the dreams put on hold. Job losses on this scale can devastate communities, leading to increased poverty, crime and social unrest. But amidst the gloom, there are also glimmers of hope. Communities rallying to support their own, local businesses adapting to the changing landscape, and most importantly, individuals displaying remarkable resilience, retraining for new careers, and finding innovative ways to rebuild their lives. The domino effect of these job cuts is undeniable, but it's important to remember that even in the face of adversity, the human spirit of innovation, adaptability, and community resilience can prevail. Navigating the turbulence, what job seekers need to know. The job market, my friends, is a fickle beast. One minute you're soaring high, the next you're grounded. But fear not, there are ways to navigate these choppy waters. First and foremost, don't panic. Approach your job search with a clear head. Assess your skills, research your options. 
Dust off that resume and give it a makeover. Highlight your transferable skills. Remember the power of networking. It's not just about who you know, but who knows you. Embrace the digital age. Online job boards and networking platforms are your new best friends. Now, let's talk about a phrase that's been floating around boardrooms and government think tanks, the skills gap. Sounds a bit dull, doesn't it? Like a missing sock in a laundry pile. But trust me, my friends, this is one gap we can't afford to ignore. Here's the rub. While companies like Boeing are shedding jobs, there's a simultaneous and rather perplexing cry for skilled workers. It seems we have a surplus of one kind of worker and a desperate shortage of another. Irony, thy name is the job market. The digital revolution for all its wonders has created a particular hunger for tech-savvy individuals. Coders, programmers, data analysts, these are the rock stars of the new economy and companies are tripping over themselves to woo them with hefty paychecks and even heftier perks. But it's not just about tech. Even traditional industries are clamouring for workers with specialised skills. Welders who can handle automated systems, machinists fluent in computer-aided design, electricians who can wire a smart factory. This, my friends, is the global skills gap in a nutshell. A mismatch between the skills employers need and the skills workers possess. It's a challenge to be sure, but also an opportunity for those willing to adapt, learn and upskill themselves for the jobs of tomorrow. Let's address the elephant in the room, or rather, the robot on the factory floor. Automation is here to stay, transforming the job market at a dizzying pace. Are the robots coming for my job? The answer is nuanced. Repetitive manual tasks are at high risk, but automation also creates new opportunities. Someone needs to design, build, program and maintain those robots. Jobs requiring creativity, critical thinking and emotional intelligence are safer. Upskill and future-proof your career. Embrace lifelong learning. Let's turn our attention now to those regions hit hardest by the decline of manufacturing. The industrial heartlands, the rust belts of the world. Places once synonymous with steel mills and assembly lines, now grappling with job losses, economic stagnation, and a sense of uncertainty about the future. But amidst the challenges, a remarkable transformation is underway. Cities and towns, once reliant on a single industry, are reinventing themselves, embracing innovation and forging a new identity in the 21st century economy. Universities and community colleges are playing a pivotal role in this reinvention, retraining displaced workers, fostering cutting-edge research and attracting new industries to these regions. The Rust Belt, it seems, is slowly but surely transforming into a brain belt, Tech companies drawn by lower costs, a skilled workforce and a collaborative spirit are setting up shop in these revitalised cities. Startups are sprouting up, bringing with them fresh ideas, entrepreneurial energy and much needed jobs. The transition is not without its challenges, of course. There are still pockets of poverty, unemployment and social unrest. But the spirit of resilience, innovation and community that built these industrial powerhouses is alive and well driving a remarkable comeback story. Hold on to your hats, folks, because the job market is no longer confined by borders. We're now in the midst of a global talent war, a high-stakes competition for the best and brightest minds. Think of it as the Olympics of employment, with countries vying for gold in the race to attract and retain skilled workers. Countries with ageing populations are rolling out the red carpet for skilled immigrants. It's a buyer's market for those with in-demand skills. Companies are offering competitive salaries, flexible work arrangements and generous benefits. They know that attracting top talent is crucial for success. Now let's talk about education, the bedrock of any thriving society and the key to unlocking individual potential. But here's the thing, the education system, much like a vintage car, is in dire need of an overhaul. 
The traditional model of education, with its emphasis on rote learning and standardised tests, is ill-equipped to prepare students for the jobs of tomorrow. We need a system that fosters creativity, critical thinking, problem solving and adaptability. The skills that will be in high demand in the age of automation and artificial intelligence. STEM education, science, technology, engineering and mathematics is more crucial than ever. We need to inspire a new generation of innovators, problem solvers and tech-savvy individuals who can drive progress and create the jobs of the future. But it's not just about technical skills. We also need to cultivate soft skills, communication, teamwork, empathy, emotional intelligence, those uniquely human qualities that will become even more valuable as machines take over routine tasks. Lifelong learning is no longer a luxury, my friends. It's a necessity. We need to embrace a mindset of continuous learning, constantly updating our skills and adapting to the ever-evolving demands of the job market. Ah, the gig economy, a term that sparks both excitement and trepidation. It's the wild west of the modern workplace, a landscape of opportunity and uncertainty. On the one hand, the gig economy offers tantalizing freedom, the ability to be your own boss, set your own hours and work from anywhere. It's a dream come true for those who crave autonomy and flexibility. But be warned, it's not all sunshine and roses. The lack of job security and benefits can be daunting and the competition can be fierce. The future of work. What does it mean for you and me? Fasten your seatbelts, dear viewers, as we embark on a journey into the great unknown. It's a topic that sparks both excitement and trepidation. None of us can predict the future with absolute certainty, but by examining current trends, we can glean insights. And one thing's for sure, it's going to be a wild ride. Imagine a world where artificial intelligence augments human capabilities, where robots handle mundane tasks freeing up humans to focus on creative and strategic endeavours. Imagine a world where work is no longer tied to a specific location, where people can seamlessly blend their professional and personal lives. The future of work is not predetermined, my friends. It's a canvas upon which we have the power to paint our own vision. The choices we make today will shape the world of work tomorrow. Charting your course. Practical tips for navigating the new world of work. The job market is no longer a leisurely stroll in the park. It's a high-stakes obstacle course, fraught with unexpected twists and turns. With the right mindset, planning and audacity, you can navigate this terrain and emerge victorious. Embrace the power of information. Knowledge is your compass. Research industries, identify growth areas and stay ahead of the curve. Continuously update your skills and acquire certifications. Networking is essential. Attend events, join communities and connect on LinkedIn. Be bold, persistent and never give up on your dreams. The adaptability advantage. Why it's no longer survival of the fittest, but survival of the most versatile. Now, my friends, let's talk about a quality more valuable than a Swiss army knife in a survival kit adaptability. In this ever-shifting job market, it's not the strongest or the smartest who survive, but those who can adapt, adjust and pivot like a ballet dancer on a spinning stage. Remember the dinosaurs, those behemoths who once ruled the earth? They were big, powerful and utterly incapable of adapting to a changing climate. Result? Extinction? A cautionary tale, wouldn't you say? The modern job market is a bit like that meteor that wiped out the dinosaurs. Sudden shifts, disruptive technologies, unexpected challenges. Those who cling rigidly to the old ways, who refuse to learn new tricks, well, they might just find themselves fossilized in the annals of employment history. Adaptability, on the other hand, is about embracing change. It's about being open to new possibilities, learning new skills, and pivoting your career path when necessary. It's about being like that willow tree, bending with the wind rather than snapping under pressure. The Skills Renaissance, embracing lifelong learning in a world of constant change. Now, let's talk about a concept as vital to your career as oil is to an engine lifelong learning. 
Gone are the days when you could coast through life on the fumes of your university degree. The job market now demands a constant thirst for knowledge, a hunger for new skills, a commitment to staying ahead of the curve. Think of it this way. Your brain, much like that muscle you've been neglecting at the gym, needs regular exercise. If you let it get flabby, if you feed it a steady diet of reality TV and clickbait headlines, well, don't be surprised if it struggles to keep up with the demands of the modern workplace. Lifelong learning isn't just about formal education, though that's certainly part of it. It's about cultivating a mindset of curiosity, an eagerness to explore new subjects, a willingness to step outside your comfort zone. Read books, attend workshops, take online courses, listen to podcasts, engage in stimulating conversations. The avenues for learning are as diverse as the job market itself. The key is to make it a habit, a regular part of your routine, as essential as brushing your teeth or checking your social media, though perhaps a bit more intellectually stimulating. Networking Nirvana. Why, it's not just what you know, but who you know and who knows you. Now, my friends, let's talk about a word that sends shivers down the spines of introverts and extroverts alike. Networking. Yes, I know it conjures up images of awkward small talk, forced smiles and desperate attempts to collect business cards like Pokemon. But here's the thing. Networking, when done right, isn't about schmoozing or self-promotion. It's about building genuine connections, nurturing relationships and creating a web of support that can help you navigate the often treacherous waters of the job market. Think of it as planting seeds. You attend an industry event, strike up a conversation with a fellow attendee, discover a shared interest, exchange contact information. You're not asking for a job. You're simply making a connection. Weeks later, you see a job posting at that person's company. You reach out, reminding them of your conversation, mentioning your interest. Suddenly, you're not just another resume in a pile, but a familiar face, someone they've already connected with, see? Networking is like that secret ingredient, that dash of spice that can make all the difference in a competitive job market. So ditch the fear, embrace the awkwardness, and get out there and start connecting. The digital you, crafting an online presence that pops in a sea of job seekers. Your online presence is as unavoidable as a queue at the post office. You've got a digital twin being scrutinized by potential employers. The first thing a recruiter does, they Google you. What they find can make or break your chances. Your LinkedIn profile is your online resume on steroids. Showcase your skills, experience and achievements. Your Twitter, Instagram and blog all contribute to your online persona. Be mindful of your digital footprint. Your online reputation is your most valuable currency. The power of mentorship, finding your Sherpa on the climb to career success. Now, my friends, let's talk about a concept as old as time itself, yet as relevant as ever in today's complex job market, mentorship. Think of it as having a seasoned guide on your career journey, someone who's scaled the peaks and navigated the treacherous crevasses, and who's willing to share their hard-won wisdom with you. A mentor, you see, isn't just someone who dispenses sage advice, though that's certainly part of it. They're also a sounding board, a cheerleader, a confidant. They've been there, done that, and they understand the challenges and triumphs of your chosen field. They can offer insights into industry trends, connect you with people in their network, and provide valuable feedback on your resume, cover letter, or interview skills. They can help you navigate office politics, overcome self-doubt, and stay motivated when the job search gets tough. Now, finding a mentor isn't like ordering a pizza. It takes effort, initiative, and a bit of luck. Reach out to people you admire, attend industry events, join professional organizations, and don't be afraid to ask for guidance. The importance of self-care in the job search jungle, avoiding burnout and staying sane. Now, my friends, let's talk about a topic that often gets overlooked in the hustle and bustle of the job search, self-care. Yes, I know, it sounds a bit self-indulgent, a bit treat yourself in the midst of what can feel like a high-stakes game of career survival. But here's the thing, the job search can be a real grind. 
It's emotionally draining, it's time-consuming, and it can test your patience and resilience like nothing else. And if you're not careful, it can lead to burnout, exhaustion, and a general sense of, I can't even with this anymore. Self-care, my friends, is not a luxury, it's a necessity. It's about taking care of your physical, mental, and emotional well-being so you can show up as your best self throughout the job search process. It's about setting boundaries, saying no to commitments that drain your energy and making time for activities that nourish your soul. It's about treating yourself with kindness, compassion, and a healthy dose of humor, because let's face it, the job search can be a bit absurd at times. M. Joga, Coaching and Consulting. Your secret weapon in the job market battlefield. We've covered a lot of ground today, my friends. We've explored the turbulent currents of the global job market, dissected the reasons behind massive job cuts at giants like Boeing, and equipped you with practical strategies to navigate this brave new world of work. But I know what you're thinking. It's all well and good to talk about adaptability and networking, but where do I even begin? That, my friends, is where M. Joga Coaching and Consulting comes in. We are your trusted allies, your career Sherpas, your secret weapon in the job market battlefield. Whether you're facing redundancy, seeking a career change, or simply feeling lost in the vast wilderness of the job market, we're here to guide you every step of the way. Ah, the mid-career crossroads. A point in life when you've climbed a few rungs on the ladder of success only to realize it might be leaning against the wrong wall. The view from here, a mix of accomplishment and a nagging feeling of, is this all there is? You've gained experience, honed your skills, built a network, but something's missing. That spark, that zest, that feeling of truly making a difference. The question is, my friends, what do you do about it? Do you cling to the familiar, the comfortable, the predictable, or do you take a leap of faith and embrace the unknown? This, my friends, is the dilemma faced by countless individuals at the mid-career crossroads. The temptation to stay put, to play it safe, can be strong, especially if you've got a mortgage, a family, and responsibilities coming out of your ears. But there's another way. A path less travelled, perhaps, but one that promises greater fulfilment, greater purpose, and ultimately, greater happiness. It's the path of reinvention, of embracing change, of transforming your career into something that truly aligns with your passions and values. Now, before you hand in your resignation and book that one-way ticket to Bali, though tempting, I know, Let's take a deep breath and get down to business. The first step on any career transition journey is to conduct a thorough skills audit. Think of it as taking inventory of your professional arsenal. What are you good at? What do you enjoy doing? What skills have you acquired throughout your career, both the technical know-how and those often overlooked soft skills that can be just as valuable? Don't just rely on your memory though. Dust off that resume, revisit old job descriptions, Think back to projects you've worked on and make a comprehensive list of your skills and accomplishments. And here's the fun part. Look for hidden talents. Those skills you've developed outside of work, hobbies, volunteer activities, passions you pursue in your spare time. You might be surprised at what gems you uncover. Skills that can be transferable to a new and exciting career path. Now let's delve into a topic that's music to the ears of career changers, transferable skills. These, my friends, are the gold nuggets of your professional experience. The gems that can be polished and repurposed to shine brightly in a new career setting. You see, many skills are not confined to a specific industry or job title. They're transferable, adaptable, like chameleons of the professional world. And recognizing these gems can be the key to unlocking a world of career possibilities. Take communication skills, for example. Whether you're crafting a compelling marketing campaign, managing a team of software developers, or teaching a classroom full of fidgety children, the ability to communicate effectively is essential. Or consider problem-solving skills. Whether you're a seasoned engineer, a resourceful event planner, or a quick-thinking customer service representative, 
The ability to identify problems, analyse options and implement solutions is highly valued across industries. So, as you review your skills inventory, look for those transferable gems. Highlight them on your resume, weave them into your cover letters and be prepared to articulate their value to potential employers in a new field. Passion versus pragmatism, finding the sweet spot between what you love and what pays the bills. Ah, the age-old dilemma, follow your passion or chase the paycheck. It's a question that's plagued poets and pragmatists alike, a tug of war between the allure of fulfilment and the necessity of financial security. On the one hand, there's something undeniably romantic about pursuing your passion, no matter the cost. Turning your hobby into a career chasing that elusive dream, dancing to the beat of your own drum. It's the stuff of inspirational quotes and self-help books. But let's be real, my friends. Passion without pragmatism can lead to a bank account as empty as a politician's promises. And while money can't buy happiness, it can buy you a roof over your head, food on the table, and the occasional guilt-free latte. The key, as with most things in life, is balance. It's about finding that sweet spot where your passions and skills intersect with market demand and earning potential. The career transition tightrope. Balancing risk and reward in the pursuit of fulfilment. Making a career transition is a bit like walking a tightrope. It requires careful planning, a steady hand, and a healthy dose of courage. And let's be honest, there's always a chance you might stumble. But here's the thing. Risk is an inherent part of any meaningful endeavor. If you're not willing to step outside your comfort zone to embrace a certain degree of uncertainty, you'll never know what you're truly capable of achieving. The key, my friends, is not to avoid risk altogether, but to manage it wisely. Don't just quit your job on a whim and hope for the best. Do your research, network like your career depends on it, because it kind of does and consider starting your new venture as a side hustle while you test the waters. And remember, even the most skilled tightrope walkers have a safety net. Build a strong support network, create a financial cushion, and have a backup plan in case things don't go exactly as planned. The importance of a support network. Don't go it alone on your career adventure. Now, my friends, let's talk about something as essential to a successful career transition as a good pair of hiking boots on a mountain trek, a strong support network. Because let's face it, navigating the twists and turns of the job market can be a lonely and often daunting endeavor. You need your cheerleaders, your confidants, your sounding boards, people who believe in your dreams, who offer encouragement when you stumble, and who celebrate your victories like their own. Your support network can include family members, friends, former colleagues, mentors, career counsellors, anyone who genuinely cares about your well-being and wants to see you succeed. And don't underestimate the power of peer support. Connect with others who are going through similar career transitions, join online communities, attend workshops. Sharing your experiences, challenges and triumphs can be incredibly empowering and motivating. Remember, my friends, you don't have to go it alone. Reach out, build those connections, and nurture those relationships. A strong support network can make all the difference in the world as you navigate the exciting and sometimes bumpy road of career transition. Yoga coaching and consulting, your trusted guide on the career transition trail. We've covered a lot of ground today, my friends, exploring the challenges and triumphs of career transitions in a rapidly evolving job market. We've talked about the importance of adaptability, the power of transferable skills, and the delicate balance between passion and pragmatism. But I know what you're thinking. It's all well and good to talk about these concepts, but how do I actually put them into practice? That, my friends, is where yoga coaching and consulting comes in. We are your trusted guides on the career transition trail, your partners in crafting a fulfilling and successful career journey. Our team of experienced career coach and consultants understands the unique challenges faced by mid-career professionals seeking a change. We've been there ourselves 
and we've helped countless individuals navigate the often overwhelming process of career transition. The Crossroads of Change, embracing the uncertain future of work. We stand at a crossroads, my friends. The world of work, once a predictable landscape of factories, offices and nine-to-five routines, is rapidly transforming before our very eyes. The old maps, the well-trodden paths, they no longer suffice in this era of technological disruption, global interconnectedness and relentless innovation. The rise of automation, artificial intelligence and the gig economy is reshaping industries, displacing jobs and creating a sense of both excitement and uncertainty about the future. The very nature of work is being redefined and those who cling to the old ways risk being left behind. But amidst the challenges, there lies immense opportunity. The future of work, while uncertain, is also brimming with potential for those who are willing to adapt, learn and embrace the unknown. It's a future where creativity, critical thinking and emotional intelligence will be highly valued, where lifelong learning will be essential and where adaptability will be the key to navigating the twists and turns of the career landscape. The power of reinvention, unleashing your potential in a world of constant evolution. In this era of constant change, my friends, the ability to reinvent oneself is no longer a luxury, it's a necessity. The days of a job for life, of climbing a linear career ladder until retirement, are fading like a vintage photograph. The job market now demands agility, adaptability, and a willingness to embrace lifelong learning. It's about recognizing that your career is not a destination, but a journey of growth, evolution, and yes, even reinvention. Think of it this way. You are not defined by your past job titles, your degrees, or your years of experience. You are a work in progress, a constantly evolving tapestry of skills, passions, and experiences. And at any point in your career journey, you have the power to reshape that tapestry, to add new threads, to create a design that reflects your evolving aspirations. Reinvention is not about erasing your past, but about building upon it. It's about recognizing your strengths, identifying your transferable skills, and leveraging your experiences to create a future that is both fulfilling and aligned with your values. Navigating the new world of work, a call to action for job seekers and career changers. The job market, my friends, is no longer a placid lake, but a vast and often turbulent ocean. The old maps, the well-trodden paths, they no longer suffice in this era of unpredictable currents and shifting winds. But fear not, for even in the midst of uncertainty, there are ways to navigate these choppy waters and reach your desired destination. It requires a shift in mindset, a willingness to embrace new approaches, and a commitment to continuous learning and adaptation. First and foremost, my friends, you must become masters of your own destiny. Take charge of your careers. Don't let external forces dictate your path. Invest in yourself, develop in-demand skills, and cultivate a growth mindset that embraces challenges as opportunities for learning and growth. Remember, you are not alone on this journey. Build a strong support network, connect with mentors and peers, and leverage the power of online communities and resources. The job market might be competitive, but it's also a place where collaboration and mutual support can make all the difference. M. Joga Coaching and Consulting, your partner in crafting a fulfilling and successful career. At Mjoga Coaching and Consulting, we believe that everyone deserves a career they love, a career that aligns with their values, passions and aspirations. We understand that navigating the complexities of the modern job market can be daunting. Whether you're facing redundancy, seeking a career change or simply feeling stuck and unfulfilled in your current role. That's why we've created a suite of services designed to empower you with the tools, resources and support you need to thrive in today's dynamic work environment. 
Our team of experienced career coaches brings a wealth of knowledge, expertise and empathy to the table. We've been there ourselves and we're passionate about helping others achieve their career goals. The journey begins with a single step. Book your complimentary career breakthrough call today. The journey of a thousand miles, my friends, begins with a single step. And sometimes that first step can be the hardest to take. If you're ready to take control of your career, to explore new possibilities, and to create a future filled with purpose and fulfillment, we invite you to book a complimentary career breakthrough call with MJoga Coaching and Consulting today. During this complimentary call, you'll have the opportunity to connect with our experienced career coach, discuss your career aspirations, and discover how we can help you achieve your goals. A final thought, embracing the journey and leaving your mark on the world. As we conclude our exploration of this ever-evolving landscape of work, my friends, I leave you with this final thought. Embrace the journey. Embrace the challenges, the uncertainties, the opportunities for growth and reinvention. Remember, you are not just a cog in a machine, a replaceable asset in a corporate spreadsheet. You are a unique individual with talents, passions and a story to tell. And the world needs what you have to offer. Go forth, my friends, and leave your mark on the world. And remember, we at Mjoga Coaching and Consulting are here to support you every step of the way.